my name is Ikoya. I'm the creator and founder of Silky Sacks, and I'm here today to do a review on this Biba wig. It is called Ban Wig Oprah, you guys, okay? I'm bringing you Ban Wig Oprah today. But before we get into that, if this is your first time joining me, I want to say welcome. Here at Silky Sacks, we do wig reviews, we give hair tips, we do hair tutorials, product reviews, and it's free every Monday and Friday. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so to be notified whenever we drop a video. And if you're watching over on Facebook, we love you guys over on the FB too. Go ahead and give this video a like and a share on both platforms and then comment down below, you guys. Let's talk about this wig. Are you still on the headband trend? I know it was super popular in 2020. Do you have a headband wig? Are you gonna try a headband wig? Or are you just totally over it? Let's talk about it down in the comments. Here at Silky Sacks, we know how much you love and we love to rock our wigs, but we also want them to look a little bit more natural, right? You kind of want to have people guessing, is that her hair or is that a wig? So we have put together a free PDF giving you tips on how to make your wig look more natural. The link is down in the description box. Go ahead and check the PDF out, download it, start using these tips and making those wigs look good and natural, honey. Here at Sticky Sex, we love our subs. Without you guys, there would be nobody to share our wig addiction with. And I appreciate you guys so much. In every single video, I love to send a shout out to one of my Silky Chicks. That is why I call my subs. And, to, and so, excuse me, today's shout out is going to Sophia Chanel. She is a fellow wig reviewer. She also does hauls. She does vlogs. She's an all around lifestyle channel. Very beautiful, sweet girl. Was glad to uh, find her channel just last year. And um, she's been so supportive to my channel as well. So the link to her channel is gonna be down in the description box. So go ahead and check her channel out and let her know that Silky Sack sent you. Now, without further ado, let's get into why you hit that thumbnail. Let's talk about this unit. So this is the stock card, you guys. This is from a brand that I've never heard of. Um, this is a part of their Carmen collection and uh, the company is called Biba. And um, this wig is called the Ban Wig Oprah wig and I'm wearing it in the color FBG. So it has some, um, it's I guess a 1B and then it has some like burgundy highlights through it. Um, so that is what it is. Now you guys have to bear with me. I know I'm doing um, older units and it's because I've ordered newer units, but I'm here on the West Coast. It's taking forever to get here and I still wanna make sure that I'm bringing you guys reviews every Monday and Friday. So I'm going to my local beauty shop and finding units. And so um, I was able to find this wig at one place online. Um, but if you really like this unit, I would check the local beauty shop because that is actually where I got this wig and then the wig I'm gonna be reviewing Friday as well. So I'm sorry that these wigs are um, older and not as accessible, but this one actually is a newer one, but it's just not very popular online yet because probably because it's a smaller brand. So like I said before, if you like this unit, check it out at your local beauty store. Now, this is my first time reviewing a headband wig. I know I'm late to the party, but I um, did a video about headband wigs and, and showing you how to just basically take older wigs and wigs that you already have and creating a headband wig with headbands. So this is the actual first wig I bought with a headband on it. It was pretty affordable. This is a synthetic unit, but I wouldn't recommend uh, putting any heat on it because it's pretty thin. It's very silky and I feel like if you put heat on it, you'll probably burn it. Um, what I liked about it is that it was short and so a lot of the units that we see tend to be like more textured or longer. There's not a lot of headband units that I've seen that are synthetic, that are short and curly. So that's why I wanted to give you this option. And it's uh, named after Auntie Oprah. If you're an Oprah fan, you can go ahead and rock this look. So without further ado, go ahead and watch the unboxing. Stay for my pros and cons. See how I styled it. And I will let you know um, whether I think she is really worth getting or not. So stay tuned. So here the wig is. So let's go ahead and take her out of the packaging. Okay, so here she is out of the packaging. She does um, have a little bit of a synthetic look. There's a little bit of a shine on it. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera. And then it is thin. There's not a lot of hair on this unit. So the curls are nice and loose, kind of like a barrel curl. So let's get into this cap. So it has the tag in the back. There is no combs or anything like that. So if you wanna wear down security, you'd probably need to put on like your wig grip 
or a bobby pin. So let's go ahead and put this unit on. Pull my ears out. Make sure the headband is flat. All right, so here Oprah is on. Texture is definitely silky. So let's get into that 360. So here she is in the front. To the right. To the left. And in the back so I'm going to do my normal routine style her up come back let you know what I did to style her give you my pros and cons and okay. so you know what the drill I'm gonna go ahead and style her up stay tuned so that you can hear my pros and cons and what I did to style this unit up and we'll come back and I'll let you know my final thoughts all right so I am back from styling band wig Oprah. So the first thing that I did is I went ahead and pulled the headband and the unit back just a little bit so that you could see my uh, baby hair and my hair. I thought that was a little bit more cuter. Now, if you don't have edges or if your hair is really thin, you can always pull the headband up to cover it up. But I wanted to do mine back a little bit. I thought it looked a little bit, um, cuter then I went in with some a lot of body mousse to just go ahead and break up the curls just a little bit because the density on this is really light you guys there's not a lot of hair on this unit so I wanted to help um pull it out and fluff it out a little bit so I went ahead and just did my hands like this to fluff out the curls and to bring out the curls then I went in with my brunette dry shampoo now i did get this brunette dry shampoo from my local target in their uh, travel area and i like to use the brunette dry shampoo on the darker units because dry shampoo tends to leave like a white cast so if you can get the brunette one then you can go ahead and spray it on and it doesn't leave that white cast and you can just rub it in to help take some of that shine off because this is a synthetic unit and it does look a little bit more synthetic -y. It has that like shine to it especially because it's a silky texture so I went in and did that and then that was really it because if this is a headband wig and of course why headband wigs are so popular is because they're easy throw on and goes this leads me into my pros which is yes this wig is an easy throw on and go it is the reason why you guys love headband wigs you can also put other headbands with it I don't have a lot of thick headbands and because this headband that's sewn on it is pretty thick I could only show you one other option and that is with my um, pink pearl headband but yes if you have thicker headbands you definitely can cover this headband up to give it other looks to match your outfit or you know dress it up a little bit more if that is what you want to do so that is a pro also um, it's a pretty affordable uh, headband wig. I like that it's short and curly because there's not there's more options I think with headband wigs with the human hair than it is synthetic hair. So this is nice to have a shorter option for women who like shorter uh, wigs and also want a curlier look. For the cons, there's not really a lot of hair on this unit, so um, it's really thin. Um, and then the, with the headband being so thick, you can't do um, a lot of options unless you have really thick headbands so just keep that in mind and then it does look uh, a little wiggy I think because it's synthetic and it you know has that shine to it but you know it's not bad if you want to try um, a headband wig and you want this look you know a short little curly look I definitely think it's cute and uh, this is my first time trying this brand and it isn't too bad so um, they have other styles they have dreadlocks with the headband they have braids I think with the headband so definitely check out this um, this vendor and of course when I take this wig off I'm not going to put it back into the plastic bag that it came out of I'm going to put it in my luxurious silky sack a silky sack is a silk lining bag that I invented to not only store your wigs but to add longevity to them the silk lining allows the hair to just glide which will cut down on the shedding, matting, and tangling that your wigs tend to do over time, especially when you store them back in the box or the plastic that they came in or just on your dresser or wherever. You know how we are with these wigs. So 
please check the link out in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will join me again for another wig review on Friday. Remember, better care is better wear.